The Delray Beach International Tennis Championships is one of the most popular destinations. This ATP World Tour 250 event has been held in Florida since 1993. Known as the Village by the Sea, the glamorous location makes the tournament a hit with both players and fans alike. It's right on Atlantic Avenue. We're so close to the ocean you can see it from the top of the stadium. But it's a beautiful little town atmosphere and a fun event, and that's everything. This year, Delray Beach hosted a nine-day super event featuring tennis legends past and present from the ATP World Tour and the ATP Champions Tour. Why don't we start it off with a bang? Let's bring in the Champions Tour, play it sun, uh, Saturday through Tuesday. And this way, when they leave, we're going full force. And it's worked out. ATSA has a really good vibe, this tournament. Uh, the, the regular ATP World Tournament has is, is always been very successful, and uh, I, like, I like how they incorporate the old guys with the young guys qualifying in the first couple of days of the tournament. So uh, it's something new for me, and it should be great fun. Now they're merging with the Golden Oldies, the ATP uh, Champions Tour, which is great, because Delray Beach and Palm Beach and Boca, kind of an older demographically uh, speaking tennis fans, and they love the McEnroe's and match with Lander, Legends, Andres Gomez and Creek. It's just so much fun, and the, and the fans are packing the place, especially for Johnny Mack. Stars taking part in the opening event of the ATP Champions Tour 2010 gathered for the traditional pre-tournament party. The atmosphere appeared relaxed and friendly, but that competitive instinct dies hard. Johnny Mack and I had a, had a great match this, uh, this year in Adelaide where he nearly got me. It was just such a thrill to play an idol like that. You know, I'd never ever played him and, and hardly ever really spoken to Johnny, so to have that time with him was a, a real big thrill for me. It would be great to play Rafter, obviously. That would be the toughest one. He's the favorite to win the whole thing. And a couple old friends and rivals that I'll be playing, Mats Vlander and Andres Gomez, had some great matches in the past, so we'll try to rekindle some memories. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we've a special report on the state of the game in the Middle East. And we preview the first of this year's ATP World Tour Masters 1000 events, the BNP Paribas Open from Indian Wells. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.